The next differential stain that we'll talk about is the acid fast stain. And so an acid fast stain is useful when we have a type of cell that has a waxy coating uh, surrounding it. That waxy coating is made of a substance called mycolic acids. And unfortunately, the presence of that waxy coat surrounding the bacterium really interferes with the gram stain. And so scientists have developed a novel stain to deal with these waxy type of bacterium that have these mycolic acids. Of bacteria that cause human disease, one of the genera that we're most worried about is the mycobacterium, and they have their name because of those mycolic acids. And one that you've probably heard of is mycobacterium tuberculosis. So this is another type of differential stain because it will stain cells with the mycolic acids. Uh, they will end up being a pink red color and stain, cells that do not have the mycolic acids will stain blue. The first step in doing an acid fast stain is of course to get your cells on the slide, just like always. And so let me find I've sterilized my loop. And I'll spread those out on the slide. I'll grab a sample of any other kind of bacterium because um, of the ones that we work with in the lab, only this mycobacterium, and we're using a safe alternative, definitely not tuberculosis, um, only the mycobacterium should stain acid fast. So just like with every other stain we've done so far, I will let my slide air dry and then I will heat fix and then we'll move on to the specifics of an acid fast stain. The next step in the acid fast stain is to place the slide on a warmer to cover with a paper towel and then to soak with a stain called carpal fusion. And this carbal fusion is going to be a pink stain. It's going to get into that waxy layer. And I have to sit here and watch it and keep it wet for the next three to five minutes. So I won't make you watch that, but that's what's going to be happening. So you'll see I have soaked the paper towel covering the slide in carpal fusion. And I will be watching for the next three to five minutes. And I will make sure that my stain doesn't dry out, that the cells are continually being soaked in carbal fusion. Okay, my three to five minutes is up. I did four minutes just to split the difference. I don't know if you can actually see there is steam coming off of it right now. So I'm actually doing this in the microbiology prep room in one of the fume hoods because um, this is stinky and I don't want to stink up a whole lab. So I'm gonna take this slide now back into the micro lab and we will go ahead and do the final steps for the acid fast stain. Okay, I'm back in the lab. So my next step is to rinse my slide with water. So rinsed with water and now we're going to do another decolorizing step. So we're going to use um, an acid alcohol. This is acid ethanol and what this does is a lot like the decolorizing agent in a gram stain. This should pull the carbal fusion from any cells that don't have the mycolic acids while leaving cells with mycolic acids holding on to that carbal fusion. So we'll do drop by drop until the color stops. Okay. 
Okay, that looks pretty good. And then we rinse with water to make sure that we stop decolorizing because we don't want to decolorize anymore. Okay, so following the acid ethanol and rinse step, uh, the really final major step we do with our acid fast stain is to add uh, methylene blue. And so methylene blue, if you remember from our direct staining video, methylene blue is a direct stain. Um, and what should happen in this case is cells that do not have any mycolic acids, they lost their carpal fusion, whereas um, cells that do have mycolic acids still have their carpal fusion. And so the cells with mycolic acid should, should be pink, whereas the cells without should turn blue. All right, so it's been one minute. We will pick up our slide and then use water to rinse. And again, what we're hoping to see is that all normal cells that have no mycolic acids will be blue from the methylene blue, whereas our mycobacterium, which has mycolic acids, should be pink from the carpal fusion. We'll put it in to dry and take a look at it under the scope. So this is an image of an acid fast stain. This is not my image. This is from the University of Wisconsin. I just could not get the picture to be clear enough. My mycobacterium culture was just no good, too spread out. I couldn't find a nice field of view that showed you the acid fast mycobacterium plus the uh, direct stained staphylococcus. So I got this image from the University of Wisconsin, but you can see the same thing. We've got the blue stained staphylococcus because remember our second step, our differential stain is to use that methylene blue. And we have our pink stained mycobacterium because the mycobacterium, those mycolic acids in the cell wall hold on really tightly to that stain carbal fusion. So this is what a acid fast stain will look like under the microscope.